Hey up everybody, moving on to the next part of my micro stroke mini lathe that I'm making. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do in this video yet, but I'm contemplating on either doing the uh, arrangement for the pulley on the back. I've got to make a, a, an arrangement for that so that my motor can come off it then. And I've also got to probably one of my next jobs has got to be um, a lead screw out to this 3 8 bar. Now I want to try and put a square thread on that so that's going to be interesting. Um, so uh, without any further ado well, then we'll crack on and get on to the next part of this then. The chap up at my local track gave me uh, a gallon of this phosphoric acid to try for um, de-rusting steel. So I thought I'd try it on that base plate I found for my small lathe. I've put it in this uh, tray and I've just covered it with that phosphoric acid. So we'll see what happens to that in a couple of days time. It's basically as rusty as that piece of metal there. It's just surface rust really. I've just relieved this plate from out of that phosphoric acid bath I put it in. It's been in a couple of days and it's done a it's done a really good job. Um, so what I'm going to do I think is uh, while this is freshly out 
of that bath. I think I'll get it marked off where the um, bolts are going to clamp it to the lathe bed so I can get an undercoat on it so it, it doesn't start to rust again. Right, let's have a quick update. I've got the base fitted, the, I've got the platform fitted and that just fits on two screws with a slot in this platform to give me adjustment for my belt. That's all that is. I've just put a temporary shaft in that pulley there just, just to represent what I'm doing here. I've made this bit of a sketch up and what I'd like to do, I've been thinking about this for a while now, I'd like to put a little clutch mechanism on it Maybe similar to what a Myford ML, is it ML7? Yeah, ML7 has on. I've not got one on mine because mine's a trial either. Uh, I've just been looking through this box of pulleys that I've, that, I, that I've been saving. And I'm after a pulley that's approximately 6 inch, which is this one. Well, I've only got two. One six and a half and one six. So I might go for this pulley here, 6 inch. Now this is, the, this is the problem when you're making things without drawings. Uh, when you come to the next part, you know, you, you've got to like think it through a bit to make everything, everything work. So, because I've put this shaft now in this back gear, when the back gear is out of mesh, this shaft stuck out. So I can, I can shorten that a little bit, that one, because when it's in mesh, it's still stuck out a little bit so I can I can shorten that by a quarter the clutch mechanism on the on the will go on this side of the pull which is here now this clutch mechanism is going to be a video in, in itself I think I, I can't do all that in this video but I think what I'll do I can get the um, the bearings made for this shaft to run in which will incorporate this block on the end for the lever to operate this clutch on this side and then my motor is going to go rather than have it spread out all over the bench I can put my, my lathe on a little cabinet and then the motor can go underneath the cabinet so it's all going to be compact then well that's my plan at the moment, but plans can change.
Well, I think that's it for this part. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll continue with this clutch mechanism in the in the next part and make the, the lever that fits in here to operate the clutch and all the push rod etc. Uh, and I think I'll do that in the next part then. I, wa I was going to move on to doing lead screw. I think I said that at the beginning of the video but I've got waylaid with this now and uh, I think I want to get that finished off first. So uh, I'll continue with this in the next part then. So if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable, uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on next part to this then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.